A couple of things to get to. As a former wide receiver, when you hear that the NFL is going to readdress the catch rule, you know, what, do you, what do you make of it, first of all, that here we are again, and they're all of a sudden trying to redefine what a catch is and what is not a catch? You know, there's all these memes going around, and the first meme I think of is, is the guy standing up at an awards show and just clapping vigorously, and that, that's me. It's, it's applauding the league for trying to correct something. Um, you know, we've been talking about this for I don't know how long. You know, it, it, it's personal for me because I remember starting off my season with the Detroit Lions when we're in Chicago, divisional game. Calvin Johnson keeps the ball on the final drive. Uh, somewhat of a Hail Mary, but we're, we're in position to win. And I look at him, he goes down, he hits a knee, a hip, and gets one arm down. I'm thinking, as, as, as the rule book states, I mean, that's as many as four to six steps um, with all the body parts that hit the grass. And I'm like, okay, this is how we start the season off. The rest say, no, 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 wait a minute, we got to look at that again. And according to the rules, that is not a catch. He did not survive the ground. Um, and, you know, I'm not going to blame one game, but it's deflating to lose a game like that. So I've always been bitter about it. And then, you know, you fast forward to Des Bryant and last year, Jesse James. I mean, there's too many situations where we're penalizing guys for trying to make a great play. And it, that's not what this league is about. This league is about seeing a highlight and then knowing that highlight is going to make my top five, top ten over the weekend. Not, oh, man, that was a great play. Too bad I'll never see it again because it's not going to exist after this afternoon's uh, match. And, you know, we were spoiled in the sense that we watch all these other sports, a home run hits and, and it bounces off the, the, the wall, and, and we think, oh, that's amazing. That counts. A, a slam dunk. A guy takes off from a step in front of the free throw line and it skims the rim. You don't see the rest saying, well, it didn't survive the net or the rim, so it doesn't count. Um, <laughs> football is getting back to the basics, which means – you catch the ball, it's secured one hand or two hands, you get two feet down, and then after that you become a runner. You know, if you want to call those bobbles and, and balls popping out fumbles, that's perfectly fine with me. But to say it's not a catch, it's basically, you know, pissing on us and saying it's raining. I mean, we all know the sport of football, and we go back to us playing at the park, and it's us sitting there catching the ball, and that's what it should be. Now, will we still have this conversation, and we're going to be catchers, this season that will have a scratch on head? Of course, but I don't think there will be as much confusion if this rule goes through. For more Dan Patrick Show, tune to Audience Channel 239 on DirecTV or download the Dan Patrick Show app.